My name is First Lieutenant CJ Botello. I'm 2nd Platoon Leader, Bravo Battery, 2nd Battalion, 11th FA. So today we're doing elevator training with our Marine Corps counterparts, and then later on today we're doing an air assault from here to our firing point. I'm Major Stephen Blanchett. I'm with Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron 463, stationed here at K Bay. The training we accomplished this week was practice for air assaults to include combat assault transport, as well as uh, aerial delivery via rotor wing assets in support of the, the Joint Force. Good morning, uh, Captain James Sylvester with Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron 463. In general, the, the training that we conducted on the individual level, whether it be the, our helicopter air crew or the Army artillerymen, our, our core skills, the things that we train to do every day, but the uniqueness of this training uh, was integrating in the, in the planning and the execution between the joint force. So um, the SOPs and the techniques that we use individually when we plan with uh, Marine artillery units are different than when we plan and execute with Army artillery units. Generally, uh, overall concept is the same, but the verbiage that's used and the techniques uh, that are, are used and executed are different. So that opportunity uh, in planning uh, to identify those differences in a common understanding, as well as uh, in, then through execution, working through um, uh, those differences and be able to work together, generally overall increase our readiness uh, as a joint force and uh, increase our capability uh, as a joint force. The purpose of the training that we accomplished this week was uh, to practice with the joint force, the planning process, as well as execution for an aerial uh, raid to include artillery pieces. So the more often we get to practice this uh, procedure, the better we get, and the more often we get to do it with the joint force, the more capable we become. This training is important because it gets us training on aerosol operations as well as working across the fence with our uh, Marine Corps counterparts and uh, allows us to foster relationships that we can build upon in the future. 